So I figured I'd talk to you today while I do my injection because I'm supposed to do it on Fridays but I was gone all day and it doesn't, unless I'm having a blood test on Monday and I'm not, it doesn't really hurt things to have to do it a day off. Um, but I got home just fine, clearly. And I have had a few thoughts about things to talk about, but they kind of chained into a few different topics. Like, I started thinking about um, the lack of things that are open 24 hours in Maine, even in what we have for urban areas. Like, unless it's a chain gas store, convenience store like Cumberland Farms or a Circle K, it's not open 24 hours. We have Walmarts that aren't open 24 hours. Um... So, on the way home, and it was still, it was maybe halfway home, was the last, was the only place that was open that wasn't a convenience store, because the fast food isn't open 24 hours, or most of them aren't. Um, but the only place that was open for me to get food on the way home was Denny's. And, yeah. That, that, <laughs> that was my option. Um, it does mean I still have leftovers so that I don't have to make food. But I started thinking about that, and then I started thinking about... Well, that led me to thinking about Walmart because I have cut Walmart out because it's... If you go far enough down the chain, it's virtually impossible to shop ethically. But if the very first step, the store that's selling it, is shitty and abusive to their employees, um, that's easier to cut out, and Walmart is very bad to and for their employees. That's remarkably well known. So, I, I don't shop at Walmart. Um, and that doesn't make things... It, it makes it a little harder to get some things at a reasonable price. But since I shop online, which led to the second part, um, I wish it were easier to cut Amazon out. Or at least anything that deals... Or anything that has them as an intermediate beyond the website. Because if it deals with one of their warehouses, like if they're the ones doing the shipping, then it deals with their employees who are also um, not treated well. Um, so, I trying to find alternatives to that when I'm also not using Walmart for getting some things at reasonable prices. Um, but some things aren't available other places. Um, which got me to thinking about, um, well, Amazon led me to thinking about books and um, DRM and all of that because I, I really don't want to, unless it's used and coming from someone else, I don't want to buy books from them because of what they're trying to do to the market and what they have done to the market. Um, they are bad for the book industry. And they force authors and publishers to put DRM on books that they don't want to, which got me thinking about Cory Doctorow because I... For my copyright course for my publishing degree, um, yes, I actually have a Master of Professional Studies in Publishing if I hadn't... I hadn't mentioned that this year. I have a bachelor's... Uh, I was a dual double major, double science major. What are electives? Um, in Captive Wildlife Care and in Education, which is basically how to be a zookeeper, because wildlife biology required a thesis and not going to do an undergrad thesis, um, and marine biology. And 
then I have a Master of Professional Studies in Publishing because my body decided, you yeah, know, vet school isn't going to work for you. You cannot be upright and on your feet for that long. No. Do something else. <laughs> um, or go in, look into something else because I have the education for if and when I am able to actually work, I'm not. Um, my mental and physical health both conspire to say, yeah, working is not a thing you're going to be doing. Um, but I, I have pursued the education specifically for um, having the background to do things that, to work jobs that, or careers, or you get the point, that um, can be done from a fucking wheelchair if necessary, <laughs> um, which I could technically teach, uh, but I know how important primary and secondary education are to get right. Um, and I know I do not have the disposition to treat, uh, to teach it well. Um, knowing the importance and having the disposition to put up with hordes of kids. Mm. I, I know I don't have the disposition and I would, con I would likely contribute to the problem. And that's something I absolutely will not do. Um, so... Unless it's post-secondary education, which with a master's I think I can do. Um, I would still need to get certification and whatnot, but... Or maybe... I haven't really looked into how that works, because it's not something I can... I'm in a position to pursue right now anyway. But editing is something I can do from my desk. Um... in whatever format uh, I would end up being in the publishing industry. That's generally something done from sitting in my fucking desk. So, um, there's that. And I would probably have to get involved with that telecommuting, um, considering I live in rural Maine and not a whole lot of opportunities are in my region. Um, I'm not in a good position to be able to relocate. Um, it's a complicated process when you are... The federal stuff is easier to move than the state stuff, because I have to um, disenroll from all the state stuff have housing set up in the new state, which um, usually you need to be a resident for six months to um, qualify for some state stuff. Now that'll also vary from state to state, but that does make it much more complicated um, trying to move which is why I'm still in Maine. I do not like being in Maine. Um, it does make going to Unity easier because I'm a little closer than I would be otherwise. Um, but, yeah, I'm mostly in Maine because leaving is expensive and complicated and I'm not in a position to be able to deal with either. <laughs> So I'm kind of stuck here. Um, so I hope you have had fun following my um, train of thought. It derails. It's a thing. I will talk to you tomorrow.